Hi guys, I'm Chef Michael Simon, and I'm gonna show you how to make the Knob Creek bourbon based in turkey with wild rice and pecan dressing. What I love to do is I make a Knob Creek based for the turkey. It's sweet, it gives it fantastic flavor, and really Knob Creek has been the most successful out of all the small batch bourbons. They've actually the ones who coined the term. So here's why I love this. It holds up in the glaze to that sweet sugar, the spicy mustard, and that super juicy turkey. And it's really easy to put together. Now check this out. So our turkey's been going for about two hours. We've been basting it away, and now I'm gonna open it up and make this delicious Knob Creek bourbon glaze for it. Now this is really easy to make, three ingredients. We have a little bit of brown sugar, some mustard, whatever your favorite mustard is. I like it to be a little bit on the spicy side. We're just gonna add that right in, and then a good old glurg of Knob Creek. Now the reason that I love using Knob Creek with this is that it's, it's a very full flavor. It's gonna hold up to the turkey, it's gonna hold up to the mustard, and it's just gonna be delicious. So no reason to be shy here. Just put that right in, give it a whisk, and as this cooks away, the Knob Creek gonna, like I said, hold up to the turkey, and that sugar is gonna caramelize. It's gonna be fantastic. So we give this our little whisk, and then we just Top it all with that glaze. How beautiful is that? Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna give us a really golden bird. What I love to do at Thanksgiving is make a couple different kinds of turkeys. Makes everybody in the family a little happy. This is one I came up with a couple years ago and it has become a crowd favorite. I make it every year now. So the glaze goes on. Turkey goes back into the oven uncovered and it's gonna get beautiful and golden brown. That really full bourbon flavor, that's what we're looking for. And we're off to the races. Our Knob Creek basted turkey is now out of the oven. It is resting. It's gonna take about an hour for all those juices to get back in there. And now I'm gonna put the finishing touches on my wild rice and pecan stuffing. Super easy to do. So I have some cooked wild rice here, a little bit of whatever your favorite sausage is. I'm using a slightly spicy Italian here because that's what I love, but anything will work. You fry that up to get it kind of nice and crisp. Goes right in to your container, fat and everything, because that adds a lot of bit of the flavor. We have our pecans, which we've already toasted. We shake those right in. A little bit of flat leaf parsley that's just been quickly chopped. Goes right in there too. And some Parmesan cheese, which a lot of people wouldn't think of when they think of stuffing or dressing, but it gives it a, a nice amount of saltiness. It's really gonna go delicious with the bourbon and the turkey. So that gets in there. We give it a little stir. And always, when you're making stuff like this, guys, before you serve it, you wanna give it one last taste of seasoning. Does it need salt? Does it need pepper? That's what you wanna do before it hits the table. So let's give this a taste. Mm. It's perfect. Now look at our beautiful turkey. It's been resting, those juices have went back in. You could see that Knob Creek glaze that has just made the turkey really golden brown and delicious. And I'm just gonna take a couple of slices here right off the breast, super juicy. Mm. Come on, you, oh yeah. That looks fantastic. Okay, look at that. Gotta work for your rewards here. Taste that rice again. Mm. A little bit of that turkey. I'm going for the big bite. That turkey is delicious. The Knob Creek glaze, you could really taste it. It holds up to the turkey. It's moist, it's sweet, it is delicious. Perfect with our stuffing. I mean, this is Thanksgiving happiness.